Hello, Jonas. Hello. How about uh, the winter of Koya-san? Winter's going、uh, pretty great. We got a lot of snow so far,、mm. and、uh, it's really cold,、mm. but、um, it's,、uh, it's a lot of fun. It's very different than what I'm used to. Uh, you, you said、uh, that you are from Los Angeles, California, and、uh, the, the first time experience of snow in a Koya san. Yes, that is true.、Oh. So,、uh, in California, in Southern California,、mm. uh, we don't get、uh, any snow,、yeah. uh, much rain at all for that matter. So, I went pretty much most of my life without seeing snow. And then when I came to Koya san, Uh, I saw、uh, last year,、uh, we didn't get that much, but we got maybe like two times. We got some snow.、Mm. And then this year,、uh, we got a lot of snow. It was、yeah. it snowed very intensely, it piled up a lot.、Mm -hmm. um, so you have to like shovel. And、um, it was just really cool to see kind of the contrast between. Koya san in the summer and the spring and the fall, and then suddenly it's just this like white blanket that just covers everything, and it's really nice. Enjoy it. Okay, so Jonas,、uh, you have、uh, taken a lot of pictures, so please explain、uh, the picture of the、uh, winter of Koya san, okay? Yeah. First one, very beautiful. So, this picture is、uh, in Okanoin Cemetery. This is、uh, a little bit before the, the,、uh, go, the Gobyo Gashi,、uh, before you go to、uh, Kobodaishi's Gobyo Mausoleum. And so, there's this area here where the Buddhist monks、uh, prepare for a, a tradition for a ceremony called Shojingu, where they take food to Kobodaishi's mausoleum as sort of this,、uh, this everyday ritualistic practice that. It shows that he still exists and that his followers still you know, pray to him every day, and that it's sort of supposed to be this、um, evidence that still at the Gobyo Washi Mausoleum、uh, in eternal prayer. So, this is them making their way to the Gobyo Mausoleum. The box that they're holding is the food that they take to、uh, Kobodaishi. Oh, really? And、uh, then there's a whole ceremony that they do when they get to the mausoleum. And so I like this picture because it's just before they cross the bridge,、uh, before they get into this area where you can't take photos. But、um, mm. I, I think it's really nice. They walk up to the bridge and then they, they, all of them bow and then they walk across the bridge and they continue to make the、uh, ascent to the mausoleum at the end, heading towards the staircase. And they line up to see. The、uh, sort of like the lamps, the stone lamps on the side covered in snow. And it was like a perfect opportunity because the snow started falling when they started doing the、uh, preparing to take the food to the,、uh, to the end.、And、it really captured the sort of essence of Okanoin. I, I thought it was a really nice, sort of like picture, picturesque, you know, the, the orange and yellow colors of the, of the garments they wear. Contrasted with the white snow.、Mm, it's cold. Yep, so this is the daimon. This was a couple days after, or maybe the day after we got a lot of snow. And then the sun came out, and it was really、wow. nice and sunny, and it was really pretty. So I wanted to get out and take a couple shots. So you can see the daimon.、Uh, normally it would have, it's like sort of like tile, black roof, but the roof right now is kind of covered in snow. It's really cool because this is the first thing that people see when they come to Koya san. So, I think it's a really good sort of representation of what you're about to see because of the scale and the size of it.、Mm -hmm. And it's just a really, really nice structure. Yeah, so this is approaching the Danjo Garan area. And、uh, this is from one of the side entrances, you could call it. There's the normal Chumon, which is the regular entrance, it's a big red gate. But this is called the Jabaramichi, which is、um, it's kind of like the side entrance that you could take from. Uh, if you're heading towards Kongo Buji, lots of people come here to take photos because、mm -hmm. the trees kind of overlook the path.、Mm -hmm. um, the Jaburamichi is kind of like this really cool area where like everyone congregates to take like these really nice photos. Ah,、uh, yeah, so this is,、uh, this is still taken from the Jaburamichi, but I like this shot because you could start to see some of the other structures in the background. So, like in the way back, you can see the Konpon Daito and you can see it's sort of like really brilliant red. Orange gleam sort of reflecting off of the blue sky and then the white、mm -hmm. snow that's like covered the ground. 
And uh, I thought this really, really captured sort of like the, the, the aura that Danjagoran has when you're entering it. It's sort of like mysterious. Uh, so this is another shot. Uh, when you come out of the Jawadunichi, there's this structure on the side. And when I was walking through, heading towards the Kongpondaito, I kind of looked back. The tree that's on the, uh, the left side is usually really pretty during the Koyo season because it's the red leaves on it are like super vibrant and they're like super saturated more so than the other trees. So I always make sure to get like a photo of that tree off to the side. And then in this shot, it was the complete opposite. It was kind of like this like white cloud almost that is kind of, they're kind of like spreading apart. And then you can see this really nice sort of like sort of like dulled out, but it still has like the red to it, like the red painting on the building, and then the snow covered on top of it. Just all the colors associated with the sort of like view in this area were really pretty. And yeah, so this was a similar sort of reason for taking this photo. I, uh, I really wanted to showcase the difference between the, the red that the Kompondaito has with the white snow. Yeah, so this is also in the Danjagaram. This is the Miedo. And Miedo has a, uh, a painting of Kobodaishi Kukai enshrined in it. Mm. And uh, normally you can't see inside this mm. building, but this building is really important to the people of Koyasan. So whenever I come here, uh, I always kind of stop by to take a picture. And as you can see, the, there's like the golden lanterns sort of hanging around the roof. Mm -hmm. I just felt like it really captivated sort of like the the essence, the vibe of this building in, Dajo, in the Danjo Garan area because right next to it is the Konpandaito and it's such a big, like flashy, brilliant structure. And then there's this smaller building that um, looks relatively old, but it's, it has such a special meaning to the people of Koyasan and the people that visit. So this shot, is next to the Chumon. If you walk towards the Chumon, instead of going through the gate, you go to the right, there's a little path that leads down and there's this bridge. And the bridge crosses over like this little lake. And I, the lake is supposed to represent the sort of similar to how Khoisan is sort of like in like a valley with the mountain peaks surrounding it, it's supposed to resemble a lotus flower. And then I thought this was a really interesting shot because if you can see to the side, the water is frozen over. So it's, it's ice. And uh, I, haven't, I hadn't seen that before. Yeah, Koyasan in the winter is really something. Okay, thank you very much, Jonas. Of course, no problem. Okay, uh, so see you next time, please. Yes, <laughs> see you next time, thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Cheeky, so cute,